Every fall and winter, some people have homes where condensation forms on the windows of the house, and it can be a little concerning. Nobody likes moisture to build up inside their homes because major damage can occur. Let's talk about condensation on the windows here in this video. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. When you experience sweaty windows, it can be a direct result of the cold air outside your home and the warm air inside meeting one another on a cold pane of glass. The warm air inside of the homes carries humidity, especially if the season is just changing and these are the first few nights of cold weather hitting the area. Warm, humid summers leading to warmer than usual autumns can quickly switch to colder, drier nights. As window panes get cold, the warm air from inside the house wants to gravitate towards the colder, drier air outside of the house. The condensation that forms on the windows can block your view, preventing you from seeing outside. That condensation can drip onto the windowsill and even down onto the carpet below. Not good. On really cold nights, the water can even freeze right on the window. If you live in an area that gets down to the low 30s Fahrenheit during December and January, you're more likely to experience this condensation on the windows than others around the warmer areas of the country. Humidity is water vapor in the air, like fog or steam, just on a lower level. Whether you're dealing with fog, steam, or indoor air, all of it contains moisture. Air can only hold a certain amount of moisture, and that amount depends on the temperature inside the home. At 100% humidity, the air has reached a saturation point. It can't hold any more water. At 50% humidity, the air is holding half of its capacity to retain water. Cooler air can't hold as much water vapor as warmer air either. Lots of things generate indoor moisture. People doing normal things in the home like cooking, bathing, shaving, doing laundry, and working out. The normal activities of a couple in a home can add up to a gallon of moisture every day to the air inside of a home. So is it the windows that cause the condensation? Well, it's just like a pitcher of iced tea on a warm sunny day. The difference between the inside the pitcher and outside. The glass is just the medium. As I mentioned above, hot air gravitates towards cold. So warmer, humid air is trying to slip through the framing of the windows glass, walls, ceiling, you name it. Windows don't cause condensation. They provide the cool surface where the water can condense. Are some houses more susceptible to having their windows sweat than others? Well, I can tell you on my recent vacation to Yosemite National Park, we stayed in a cottage that was built in the 1920s. The room has been upgraded since originally being built. It was nice and cozy, but you could feel the cold drafts coming in from the edges around the windows and the front door. I have some pictures that I'm hoping to attach to this video that shows the dew forming on the single pane windows and the surrounding framing. Take that cottage and compare it to my house that was built in 2000. I've never seen condensation on those windows. Maybe it's because the windows are dual pane and the trim is vinyl but I can assure you I've personally never been on a service call in the winter where a homeowner of a newer house complained of condensation forming on their windows. I have, however, been to older homes in the Sacramento area that homeowners have had an issue with condensation there. So let me ask you this, why does almost every bit of information that I read about when it comes to condensation on windows refer to the fact that today's homes are built tighter than homes built before 1980? Experts go on to say that humidity tends to accumulate in newer, tighter homes and retain it easier than naturally drafty homes built in the old days. They say this is why newer homes tend to have more issues with humidity buildup and sweaty windows than older homes. I'd actually love to hear your opinion about this, so leave me a comment down below so that we can start a conversation about it and you can maybe teach me some things. Excessive interior humidity can be tough for your home because of the types of damage that it can do to it. It can damage sheetrock, paneling, and walls, which weakens the wood framing and the integrity of the structure. It can cause the paint to peel from the edges around your window too. Sweaty windows can drip down into window frames, causing dampness and even warping the wood frames. Nobody wants this. 
Is it older homes that seem to build up condensation on windows in the winter time, or is it newer homes? I can tell you personally, my 20 year old home has never experienced sweaty windows, but I have had experiences where older homes in the area develop it. Once again, let me know what you think about this. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.